Welcome in. Today we're going to be taking you through a full FinChat platform tutorial in 15 minutes or less. FinChat.io is the complete fundamental research platform for all investors. I'm Ryan Henderson and I am joined today by Aria Radnia. In today's video, we have five exciting features to share with you. The first of which is going to be our portfolio tracking dashboard feature, which you could access from our landing page in the top right corner. Click on the dashboard button if you already have an account with us. If not, you can also scroll down and just search any different company in the search box. And you can kind of think of this as your investing homepage, where you're able to pull in from over a hundred thousand different companies. And so, for example, we're just going to pull in Apple for now. Let's do a couple other big tech companies. And you'll see a handful of different metrics start to populate on your screen. First and foremost, what we're going to want to do is input the theoretical number of shares that we have. From there, you'll see that a couple other metrics start to pop up. So for example, the average cost, market value, what percentage of our portfolio is allocated to this holding. And actually, if we wanna put in the average cost, again, just the theoretical number for today's demonstration, FinChat auto populates the percentage change in terms of how much we've gained on these holdings from our average cost. Now, you're not restricted to just these metrics that are auto-populated for you in a new dashboard. You can also choose from over 20,000 metrics covering a variety of different valuation metrics, growth metrics, and really anything you could imagine. So for example, if we just pull in the forward EV to EBIT, you'll see that it presents us with the current EV to EBIT of all the companies we've added to our dashboard. Additionally, if you're someone who would like to share your dashboard with others, you can toggle the ownership and average cost basis to only show the percentage allocation of your holdings. You can also add a cash position choosing from a variety of currencies around the globe. Uh, for example, we just put in 5,000 euros for now. You can also do a variety of other currencies around the world. And again, it shows it to you as a percentage of your portfolio. You can also display your current portfolio using our pie chart, and you're able to export that to share with friends or on online social media pages. We can also add titles to this and export it in a variety of different ways. Now, this is where FinChat's portfolio tracking tool is highly differentiated and adds a lot of value to our customers. With the portfolio statistics, you're no longer pulling in in the metrics specific to each company, but you're actually getting the weighted average of your entire portfolio. So if you take a look, the defaulted ones we have now are metrics such as the operating margins or net profit margins. What that is telling us is that the weighted average between Microsoft, Apple, and Nvidia is 45% in this mock portfolio. If you were to add more holdings, it would adjust it accordingly. And you have the same 20,000 metrics available to you, again, all on a weighted average basis. In addition to the portfolio pie chart, you also get a geographic breakdown as well as an industry breakdown if you're curious what industries or what geographies your portfolio is exposed to. Beyond just the metrics you choose here in your main dashboard, you can also select the performance tab to see the actual stock price performance over various durations. And depending on what companies are in your portfolio, you're going to get all notifications for new releases or data uploads into the top right based on the companies you've selected. That's enough of the dashboard for now. Let's go ahead and jump into an actual company analysis page. For now, I'm going to search for a company specifically. In this case, let's use Amazon. You can either type in the company name or you can type in the ticker. Either way, you're going to get a drop down menu with all the relevant companies for that search. Now, when you click on an individual company, it's going to take you to the company analysis page where you're going to see eight different tabs. On the first tab, you're going to get a whole bunch of general overview type statistics as well as descriptions. So you've got the business model description, you've got a whole bunch of quick facts on the business, and you also have a performance chart. Right now it defaults to the stock price over the last five years, but if you wanted to change it to a total return, drawdown, percentage change, market cap, or other selections as well, you can easily do that. Right now we've got it selected to total return. If we wanna change the time frame, that's very easy to do as well. And if you wanna share that chart, you can easily click the universal download button that we have around our platform. Now the next tab I'm going to show you is where most fundamental investors are going to be spending the bulk of their time. Within the financials tab, you're going to see all the relevant financial data you could possibly need on an individual company. That includes your standard financial statements, your income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, and even relevant ratios. So valuation multiples, forward valuation multiples, uh, different profit margins, some capital efficiency ratios as well. I encourage you to look around and check out all the different ratios that we have. It's really quite an exhaustive list. Now the fifth tab we have here is what makes FinChat truly unique. FinChat has the largest company specific segment and KPI database in the world. That includes metrics that are very specific or particular or even granular to the companies. So in this case for Amazon, we've got a breakdown of the revenue by the various categories. For example, we can go ahead and we can click on AWS revenue, which is Amazon's cloud computing division, and you can easily chart that data over time. Beyond AWS revenue, we also have the AWS operating income, which you can see visualized right next to the 
chart as well. If you want to share this data, just simply click that green download button you're going to see in the top right corner across the entire platform. Again, this is just Amazon. These are the metrics that we have. I encourage you to look up a company that's important to you. I think you'll be surprised by the true breadth of our data capabilities. Now, the last tab here is custom metrics. This is a really powerful tool that allows you to build the formulas that matter the most to you. In this case, we've already selected AWS revenue and AWS operating income, but let's say you wanted to pull AWS operating margin. To do that, you can easily select the add custom metric button at the bottom here. That'll pull up a formula builder that'll allow you to create your own metric using our existing data. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and give it a name, AWS operating margin, and then make sure we've selected the right format. In this case, this will be a percentage, and then fill in the formula builder to our exact requirements. In this case, I'm looking for both AWS revenue as well as AWS operating income. So let's go ahead and select AWS revenue select AWS operating income, and we're gonna add a division symbol. Now, we've got all the components that we need here, but they're currently out of order. Fortunately, it's very easy to just drag and drop and place them where you want in the formula builder. But in this case, this metric applies only to Amazon, so we wanna make sure the apply metric to all companies toggle is off. We've got what we need here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the metric to my custom metrics tab. Now you can see the metric has been added here. If you wanna visualize that, you can simply click it like you would any other metric, and you'll see it populate in the charting section here. Now those are probably the two most important tabs within an individual company page, but we also provide a number of other tabs, including investor relations material. And here we aggregate all the events that have to do with that specific company, uh, such as quarterly earnings report, their corresponding slideshows, the transcript for the earnings call of that report, sell side conferences, so on and so forth. You can also directly listen into the conference call from our platform. Now there's a number of other useful features within the analysis tab. Feel free to look through them yourself, such as the estimates tab, the ownership of various different insiders, but for today's video, we're just going to move on to the charting. Now going to the individual company pages is a great way to get an understanding of that individual stock. However, if you want to compare companies head to head, the best place to do that is our charting feature. Now keep in mind, FinChat tracks great company specific data, which is going to allow you to compare companies on a very granular level. In this case, we're going to be using the example of the big cloud providers, which are Microsoft, Google, and Amazon, and we're going to be looking specifically at their cloud divisions. So from the search dropdown on the right, we're going to pull in Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. And then from the metrics drop down on the left, we're able to go down to segments and KPIs and it's sorted on an individual company basis. So for example, if we just go into Amazon and we scroll down, we're going to be able to find AWS revenue. And you'll see that'll populate towards the bottom of your screen. Next, we're going to go into Google and, and try to find Google cloud revenue. Now we're just going down into the segments and KPIs and finding all these metrics. If you already know what you're looking for and know the name, you're more than welcome to search for it. And then we have all three cloud providers on the same chart, but admittedly it looks a little bit cluttered. So in order to make the chart more visually appealing, we actually allow you to change the units of how the revenue is shown. So you could change it to millions, billions, or thousands. In this case, we're going to have it on billions to reduce the visual clutter. Another thing I'm going to mention is make sure that you are on the correct format in terms of how to present the chart. We already have it on single panel here, but if you wanted to show on a by company basis, whereby it shows each metric specific to that company, you can also do that. Or you could even have it on a metric specific, which doesn't really apply to this scenario. But for example, if you wanted to pull in both the PE and the price of sales, you're able to differentiate those two charts. Now I realize there's a lot of different toggles here. This is just going to change the way that the data can be displayed in the chart. For example, right now we have three independent bar charts representing the different cloud divisions. If we wanted to visualize those in a single stacked bar chart, we would simply select the stacked bar toggle for each metric. This is going to give a more holistic view of the cloud industry overall in this case. And we've got it set to quarterly, but if we wanted to visualize visualize it on an annual basis or last 12 month, we could simply select that as well. One more important feature to mention, right now we've got the nominal values. If we wanted to see the growth rate, we could simply select the index to zero toggle which is going to present the growth rate based off the initial date selected in the timeline. Once again, in this case, it's a little difficult to visualize in a stacked bar, so we're gonna go ahead and adjust to the line charts so that we can see each one independently. So these are the cumulative growth rates, since in this case, Q3 of 2020. But if you wanted to see the actual percentage change on a year-over-year -year basis, we'd unselect the index to zero and select the percentage change toggle. This is going to present both the nominal values and the percentage changes. If we wanted to hide any data, we could simply hit the hide button up in the top navigation bar. Now we've got the year-over-year -year growth rates of each of the cloud divisions from the big three hyperscalers. 
Now, in this case, we've selected company-specific metrics to compare head-to-head, -head, but if we wanted to use just standardized metrics, for example, total revenue, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the data selected and just go ahead and select popular selections, total revenues, and you'll get them all visualized once again in individual bar charts. One other important feature to mention, no matter where you're at on the platform, at any point, you can select the co-pilot button in the top left corner to access our custom-built conversational AI specifically for investing queries. FinChat Copilot is an extremely powerful tool that has minimal data hallucinations because the source materials are already on the FinChat platform. Now let's go ahead and give it a sample query. Aria, what do you have in mind? Something FinChat's great at is being a summarization engine. So let's just ask it to pull in Amazon's recent earnings and summarize it for us. Now, it won't matter too much for this prompt, but if you're doing more qualitative research comparing private and public companies, you can actually disable the web option if you'd like to rely on data specifically from the platform. Now, you'll see that after a few seconds, FinChat's able to pull in data from the recent quarterly report, some key metrics in terms of the financial performance, able to identify the guidance that Amazon issued for their next quarter, some strategic initiatives at the company, and some mentions of future capital allocation in terms of AI investments, and innovation at the company, some additional supplemental data, and the related earnings materials. Now, this was a very broad question in terms of the report altogether. Let's try to hone in on what management has said in regards to the AWS segment. And now we have a full summarization of what management has said regarding AWS investments and the developments in their current projects. And additionally, it's able to source exactly where that information is coming from. So in this case, you see Brian from the conference call was quoted Amazon spending $26 billion of CapEx in Q4. Additionally, some materials regarding other initiatives at the company, cloud innovations, some specific products such as Project Rainer, Amazon Bedrock, their Tranium 2 chips, and a quick summary all the way at the bottom in terms of all the innovations at this business. Once again, you have supplementary data available to you alongside the slides and the actual Amazon report. And all the way at the bottom, Copilot suggests a few related questions. Those are four of the most important features, but we also offer tons of other value adds to fundamental investors. For example, we have a robust screening tool that'll allow you to filter by the country, industry, specific investment criteria, and from there you can easily jump in to company-specific pages. Beyond the screener, we have tons of investment resources, including an earnings calendar, tracking super investors, such as Warren Buffett, Lee Liu, Ray Dalio, Bill Ackman. And within each page, you can see that investor's specific equity holding. We also have more than 10,000 ETFs and mutual fund data across the platform. And within each ETF page, you can see the top holdings as well as the performance over time. That's gonna do it for today's tutorial. There's tons of other features across the FinChat platform that we think could be super useful to fundamental investors. So I recommend taking some time to click around the platform and see what's most useful to you. If you have any questions with the platform, feel free to reach out via our help center, which you can access through the settings button in the bottom left. Thank you for your time and enjoy FinChat.